today we're going to be looking at text as a symbol. This is a uh, trick I learned recently. I wish I'd have known years ago. If you're a graphic designer or if you use Illustrator, this is uh, Illustrator CC 2018, latest update. Thanks, Adobe. If you use a lot for design or you're just using multiple pages, and you find that you are constantly updating small bits of text. In this case, I'm working with a client and they've got uh, 2,000 revisions. I'll be changing the date at multiple times. We'll have a version number. Uh, perhaps this is a template you're using for multiple clients and you need to update the client name. Uh, now, normally, um, if you create you know, a piece of text, you can copy it to the next sheet. Of course, copy it to the next sheet. Uh, in this case, we have three sheets to make it simple. Um, okay, so let's say you want to take this piece of text and when I update it on one sheet, it updates across all sheets. That would be absolutely brilliant, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Uh, so once you have your text selected, you want to go up and go to the window and then you're going to go to the symbols palette. Uh, it's also on your toolbar, it looks like a club. You'll click that open and then with your text selected, you're going to hit the new symbol icon. It's a little bitty page there on the bottom. Let's go ahead and move this over by the text there. Uh, you go ahead and hit the new symbol button and it's going to ask you to name it. I'm just going to say footer for this case. Uh, you want to make sure your symbol type is dynamic. By default, I think that's already on, so you should be good to go and hit OK. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to close my symbol palette, return it to the dock. Um, so at this point, when you click on the piece of text that you turned into a symbol, it's now going to be a box. Rather than up here, you see the underline, that means your text is editable. It'll be a box, that means it's been converted into a symbol. Now at this point, you're going to want to populate the symbol across your documents and uh, I'm going to delete the text I had on the old sheets. Uh, what I do in Illustrator is I tend to space my sheets the exact same distance apart. So if I do have an element I need to copy over to different sheets, I just use the move tool and we'll do that right now. So I'm going to select my symbol. I'm going to hit the return key. That's going to bring up our move palette. And right now mine are spaced out at 11.5 on the vertical will be zero. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the copy. Now it's copied it to my second sheet. And then if you don't know, you can hit Command D and that will copy the last action that you did. It's basically, Command D is just duplicate. And that's just duplicate the last action that you did. All right, so on our three sheets now, we have the same instance of the symbol we created for sheet one. And this is where the glory, this is where the glory comes in. Okay, so what you want to do is now you have your symbol, you're going to double click the symbol and it opens up the editor. And this you'll get this sort of bar on top of the artboard. And the name of the symbol should be up in the, up in the left hand corner there. And at this point, we're going to update the date. Say it's April 2030 because we're time travelers. I'm gonna hit my selection tool, that's the black arrow. And then I'm gonna double click the artboard. Now you can also, uh, if you click the symbol again, and you double click, you go into the editor, you can hit the arrow exit. That's the exit symbol editing mode. Um, I just tend to double click the artboard. You can just double click anywhere uh, and it'll take you out of editing mode. All right, so we're in 2030. Everybody's floating in the air in little vats with their brains in it. And of course, we can see now on all three pages, we are in April of 2030. Fantastic. Um, okay, so that's a quick way. And of course, uh, what's nice about the, the symbol is that no matter which one I edit, let's say I edit the middle one, and I wanna go even farther, where our consciousness have, has left our body and we're floating around in the ether. We'll say 2080, sounds about right. I'm gonna hit the return. 
Now, in this case, that's nice because I've edited the middle one. It's also affected the one on the left and of course the one on the right. So no matter which symbol, as long as it's the same copy of the symbol, uh, it will affect all instances. A uh, really quick way to update multiple sheets within the same document. For designers, uh, I think it'll be fantastic. It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of clicking. Uh, another good instance of this, and you might be able to anticipate that, would be I've got multiple uh, text of this color brown. And let's say the client comes back and they're like, I want it pink, bro. And uh, you're like, no problem. We'll go up to window and go back into the symbols palette. Of course, on the toolbar, it's the club. And I'm going to hit the little page on the lower right, symbol options or new symbol. I'm going to say PMS color. Hit OK. Then we're going to delete our other instances. And you know it's a symbol because now it's turned into a box rather than having the underline where the text can be edited. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to copy, Control C, Control V, drag that over here. Another fast way to duplicate uh, something is to is to have it clicked and hold down Option, and you'll get a double arrow, and then click and drag, and that just duplicates whatever whatever you've selected in your dragging. Go ahead and select that again, hold down Option, you get the double arrow, that's just duplicating it. Bring it all down. All right. So of course, our client wants in pink, we've uh, argued against it, but uh, they have money and we want it. Uh, so we're gonna change it to pink. Of course, I will go, I, I probably could have also done the symbol on the, actually, let's do that. We're gonna select this. We're gonna go back to our symbol palette and do a new symbol. We'll say, we'll just call it pink. And that's now a symbol. We're gonna select it, hold down option to duplicate, we'll drag it. So we have to delete our old one. Drag it again. And one more time. All right. Uh, so we'll double select, rather double click. Select the brown, double click. We'll change that to pink against our better judgment. Select the selection tool, double click back on the artboard, we'll move that, and as you can see, everything's been updated. Now I should have centered it uh, so that it didn't move justify left, so I'll have to do that next time. Anyway, so let's say uh, we will want to change that color again. So we've now, we're going into edit of the, let's say they want it blue. Double click out, bam, all the rest of them turn blue. So it's a massive time saver. Uh, for anyone who uses multiple multiple instances of the same thing. Uh, hopefully that helped everyone. And uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Or if you have a better or faster way to do this, please let me know. Thanks so much.